this morning, I called my mom this morning, and I feel real pumped up, feel really good about that. Because when I call my mother and I hear her voice, what I am reminded of is no justifiable resentments. Because what happens when you resent something and you carry it with yourself, the person who unconsciously created the resentment, they live their life, but you feel the pain. So I'm learning a great deal in a very quick way out here in Tucson, Arizona, via Phoenix, Arizona. This is also a shout out to my sister, Letitia, and her husband, C, and thanks and appreciation. Because every day I get up, you know, like I'm like super pumped up. You know, I'm seeing a way out of no way. I'm seeing the ability to make a dollar out of 15 cents. I'm seeing the ability of how to make a dollar without the appearance of the manifestation of even a quarter cent. I realize that I'm blessed because there's no way I should be thinking like this, not with my regular standard mind. I was so confused. I was so upset. I was creating issues within myself. Had no true comprehension. But what I didn't know was that before I got in this game, I was at a certain level spiritually, but part of me being what I call placed in a physical body, that was part of what I had to leave behind under what's called taking the elixir of forgetfulness in the full glory of the Most High. Because everyone lives under the mercy of the High, even the most powerful individual or they think they're the most powerful, even the most secret society. You know, the guy today who went out and bought him a Learjet, a guy today that bought him a, a multi-million dollar yacht. So there's nothing wrong with those things. The bottom line is what we put first. So what I had to come to realization is that as long as I put God first, he's going to give me everything. And part of this, me making these videos early in the morning is part of it. And I'm, I'm like, I'm really like, really like pumped up, right? Because that's part of it. That's part of it. You know what I mean? There's some things that I normally would say, but you know, I only teach nine tenths. I don't really put nothing out there for real, for real. Other than if I like you and I want you to understand certain things. But see, I had to learn from a Niccolo Machiavelli perspective in reference to the book called Prince. Or how to play chess, chess backward. Or like my mother used to say, you got to get up early in the morning. So I used to get up like 5 a.m. and say, Mom, I'm up. She said, you missed the point. <clears throat> Things you think about now that bring a smile to your face. So, without further ado, I'm going to get to the read. All life exists within one mind. In order to truly understand this, we must return once again to the universal subconscious mind, the mind we all use and live in. This mind or intelligence is not in man alone, but in every living thing. Behold the process of evolution, and you will see desire being projected into the universal mind and returning in physical reality. And so at the end of the day, what we say is we're going to get to another part, and that's called thought and faith, soul responsibilities. There are only two things you can do for yourself. One is conception, 
and the other is conviction. All the work of creation rests with another than you. Let me say that again. All the work of creation rests with another than you. For no man is responsible for anything in his life except his thought and his belief. All else is the working of the great creative universal mind besides which the largest atomic plant in the universe is like a gnat on the face of the earth. Mm. Yahshua, also known as Jesus, said, Come unto me, all you who are burdened and heavily laden, and I will give you rest. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Mm. Ah, things that make you go. Now you like getting it, and you like, yo, look, check it out, right? It ain't just for me. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm finding out I'm the type of dude I like to have a party, right? And I make everybody the best guest. And then I disappear, and I have gifts. I just like doing it. I just like showing how magnificent our Lord is. Where there is no competition, there's only creation. Evil can exist because good reigns. But the reason why evil exists is to teach the inner seed of good a lesson. Hmm. I mean, just thinking, you know, just like reflecting, like, like I'm, I'm like, I'm like, man. Phew. All else is the working of the great creative universal mind, because which the largest atomic plant in the universe is like a gnat on the face of the earth. Can you now gain an inkling of what? This great man, this great man, this great man, this is what I just said, this great man, M-A-N, flip it, N-A-M, add an E, what does it say, what's my name, what's my name, drop the E, flip it, M-A-N, man, so thoroughly understood, he says, speaking of his miracles of healing, it is not I who do the works, but the Father who dwells within. Mm. Ah. Boy, man. Man, I'm telling you, man, I mean, I can't even tell you what this is doing in my own mind, in my own head, right? Because People like this, right? They don't believe you until they see you coming. So I already, I already have the kind of idea how I like to come. But it just ain't gonna be me. Like for my personal family members, yeah, it'll just be me alone, but man, I got something in my head, man, that I know I didn't place there, that the manifestation of it is making people who might See this video start to cry, but my um, my thing is this: don't start crying now. That's not that's not part of the script. You was bad before. I need you to, I need you to stay bad all the way up to the second. That's what I need. And then what I love about it, I'm not even really doing it right. Because look, what I'm about is this, right? It's unstoppable. At least that's how it's being shown to me. Like, I'm just part of the parade. I'm like, you know, like back in the day, they used to say, where the party at? Yeah, I'm with that party. Yeah. You know, we got a we got a, a hundred wins, zero defeats. Everywhere we go, we win. How's that possible? That's why this, that's why this is so, it just feels good even like knowing us and then to be able to manifest it. And then to get up in the morning in it, and then and then and then go to bed with it.
So this man, Yahshua, known also as Jesus, he knew the responsibility of creation was not his. He knew that a power far greater than he would resolve into actuality any thought which he con he was convinced of. Let me say that again. Because that, that, man, when my lips was like turned, trying to say it, you know, let me say it again. Jesus knew the responsibility of creation was not his. He knew that a power far greater than he would resolve into actuality any thought which he was convinced of. It's like this, right? If you convince you a loser, oh, then you're going to lose. If you convince that you a winner, and then if you lack the faith, you just give it to God. <laughs> like them four little girls that got blew up in that church. Remember back in the day. The people that did that, they didn't care. Wasn't they little girls? So I, so in my own way, right? I ask the Lord, I want to feel their pain. I want to, I want to, I want to feel the burning. I want to feel the the suit in my throat. I want to know what it feels like that I didn't, I wasn't able to 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 live my life to the fullest. And what I felt afterward when nobody really did anything about it in a way where uh, the culprits were brought to justice. Justice. Let me say it right. Justice. Jesus did not stand at Lazarus' grave and restore Lazarus to life by a process of effort. He knew that Lazarus would rise. Beyond that, the responsibility was no longer his. There can be little doubt, but what the same power that responded to Yahshua, Jesus, and restored Lazarus, Lazarus to life would, if approached with the same conviction, cause Lazarus to life. Oh my God, I'm going to fill my will. Like I put on the Harley Davidson joint on my will, right? I'm trying to boss it up real good. Just trying to add a little something. See the Harley Davidson move? Yeah. Okay. All right. This power manifests evil as well as well as good, for it does not differentiate between the two. It simply creates according to image and conviction. What that mean? That mean when I got image and conviction, and then there's some other stuff that I'm gonna put out there because it's like a recipe and a cooking demonstration. Associate of mine told me this back in the day. He said, if you want to bake a cake and you leave out the shortening and the yeast or maybe the eggs and the sugar, you're not going to get the same end result. Or said a different way, if you're driving down the street and you're trying to go to your friend's house and you make the wrong turn, that don't mean that you're going to end up where you want to be. Yeah. So it says, with all evil, God, G, big G, big O, big D, sends his reign on the just and the unjust alike, for evil befalls the righteous and the unrighteous, but it cannot visit him who sees and is convinced of nothing but good. Oh, man. I'm up in church up in this camp. I don't even care who was watching it because like I said, the video is really for me and anybody can hang with it. But see, I know how it's going to get down, right? See, once my family members see that I really know what I'm talking about and they be like, yo, boy, you know, uh, we need to have over for dinner. Yeah, we need to pick his brain, see where he really at, see if he just, you know, just came up accidentally or whatever. The proof is in the pudding. It either is or it's not.
Now, there's some other things I could say, but I'm not going to because I have learned my lesson. I've learned like the way that uh, Hannibal learned. When he had them elephants and he had to run up through the Italian Swiss Alps to get up on Rome. Or what? Marcus Aurelius, he had a slave, right? And the slave's job was only to whisper into his ear, you're only a man. Marcus, you're only a man. Or some of the great Roman generals and British generals and Indian generals and the great Queen Nzinga who was who, look, she was so bad, look, she was so bad, right, that she not only ran, uh, uh, I believe it was Alexander the Great or somebody on that level out of her lands, but when they didn't give her a chair, her strongest person got on his hands and knees and she sat on his back. And she said, before you leave, you will drop your swords and your armory where you stand. We're not playing with this one. More marching, more singing, more talking, watching the Senate, watching the House of Representatives, watching what's going on with Kamala and Biden, and what's going on with Trump with his uh, impeachment which was a dog and pony show. Yeah, man, the only thing about it, they forgot that God is in charge. And I'm on his team. It's like this here, right? Let me give you a sneak preview. It's like combining LeBron at his best, AD, the boy on Thunder. What's, what's his name? Uh, 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 dog, I can't even remember his name right now, right? But he a point guard. Michael Jordan, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Isaiah Thomas, Larry Bird, Parrish, Mark Jackson, and anybody else in the one person. Because you know God is capable of doing whatever you want to do, right? And he can pick anybody he wants anytime he get ready, right? He, he in charge of the show. He the ultimate puppeteer. Yeah, we're gonna see this go down, right? I'm gonna be, I'm just gonna be like, like smiling myself. I'm gonna be like, whoa. I never thought it would happen. But just like I'm looking at this big, beautiful truck turned by on me at 50. I think it's like a 2021. I think it's all every bit of like maybe like about 57, maybe 61 grand. And around here they pick them up like uh, a, a rock on, on dirt. Same way how that's getting down, we're gonna be getting down way above that. Hey, guess what? This, this is the part I really like. Because how they say it was forecasted. It was it, it, it was like oracles. Like they all they all they would keep on saying is they're coming. Right? So the Lord kept on being merciful, right? So the people kept on building, doing what they doing, whatever. They don't care. This is what I know. In the meantime that I'm doing these videos, certain young people are not doing a lesson. They don't know who they are. They locking us up left and right. They're killing us everywhere. We have no representation. And it is going to continue to be like it is. And so, like me, I said, uh, I said, Lord, Lord, I said, uh, can I be part of the, uh, the demonstration? Can I be part of the change? And I'm not even going to tell you what I heard or what I saw or what happened. Because I only have my own direct experience. So I'm up around 20 minutes. I haven't said enough until tonight.